Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Jadi jika anda pertama kali hadir ke channel ini Selamat datang saya ucapkan Tapi jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula Tahniah kerana rajin dan sudi kembali Jadi dalam video ini anda akan lihat beberapa pattern soalan Yang berkaitan dengan gravitational force So apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula Okay now look at here example number 6 ha. kalau kita tengok sekali imbas soalan number 6 ni macam tak ada tak ada nombor kan ayat saja ha confuse kejap ni subjek physics ke english ni ha okay so here we have two spheres of equal mass okay equal mass are separated by a distance d if that distance is double by what factor does the gravitational force between the two spheres change Hmm, menarik soalan ni. Okay, kita nak tengok kadar perubahan gravitational force. Sekiranya distance antara two masses tadi kita double kan. Okay, so look at here. Let's say we have mass 1 and mass 2. Okay, and given that the distance between them is D. Jadi kalau kita tulis equation gravitational force between these two masses, kita boleh tulislah F Uh, Fg ataupun F12 eh uh, Kita ada mass 1 and mass 2 G M1 M2 over What? Over what? Yes over D squared R squared R dia adalah D So saya akan tulis D squared Okay so this is the gravitational force Okay initial lah Maknanya before kita double kan dia punya distance D So when the distance is double So kita tulis sikit When distance Okay is Double Okay So R dia saya akan letak R prime lah uh, Untuk uh, second case Which is double right So 2D 2 kali D Asalnya tadi D Lepas tu dia akan jadi 2 kali D Okay So now let's write F prime 1, 2 Kenapa saya letak prime Saya nak bezakan lah initial condition Dengan after kita double kan Distance It's equal to G, mass is constant, tidak berubah, over R prime squared. So, kita gantikan R prime kita dengan 2D. Okay, which is 2D squared. So, it's equal to G, M1, M2, over 2 squared, 4D squared. Hmm, okay. So, kalau kita lihat kat sini, G M1 M2 over D squared. This is the expression of the gravitational force before we double the distance between two masses. Okay. Boleh. So ini adalah F12. So kalau saya nak tulis jawapan ni dengan uh, kemas. So kita akan tulis. Okay. F prime 12 is equal to. 1 over 4 Okay F 1 2 Maknanya Bila kita double kan Distance between uh, Two point masses From the center Of each masses tadi Okay Daripada center M1 Ke center M2 Kita double kan dia punya uh, Distance Okay Kita boleh nampak uh, Gravitational force F prime So gravitational force Selepas kita double kan Dia akan jadi 1 per 4 Ha, berkurang lah kan 1 per 4 1 per 4 daripada F12 Daripada initial condition tadi Okay So kita boleh tulis lah ha, Kita boleh tulis ayat sikit New Okay New gravitational force Is Decrease Okay berkurang Decrease By Factor Of 1 over 4 Of the Initial Gravitational force Boleh So part B Two spheres of equal mass are separated by a distance D Sama macam tadi If the mass of one sphere is double This time mass dia pula double Okay So kalau kita ada uh, M1 equal to M Okay So M2 dia kata If the mass of one sphere is double M2 dua kali M1 uh, Contohnya lah 2 kali M1 adalah 2M. 
Jadi kalau kita tulis F12 prime is equal to G M1 M2 over R squared. Okay, R squared. Kali ni yang kita ubah hanyalah M2. M2 ni kita double. Asalnya tadi M2 ni adalah M2 lah. Ha, kan, M1 dengan M2. Okay, kedua-dua ni adalah M. Ataupun kita boleh tulis lah M1 dengan M2 kan sama. Okay, ha, two spheres of equal mass. So, M1 Uh, sekejap eh So kita boleh tulis M1 equal to M2 equal to M So untuk yang ini F12 Okay kita boleh tulis F12 is equal to GMM Ah, Kita boleh tulis GMM over D squared Okay so kita boleh tulis kat sini lah GMM over D squared Okay sebab mass dia sama Okay So kita boleh tulis D squared kat sini eh Alright, so, tapi bila kita doublekan mass tu, dia akan jadi F12 prime is equal to G. Mass 1 adalah M. Kan kita letak M1 adalah M lah. Okay, M2 adalah 2 kali M. Dia double. Okay, the mass is double. Okay. Uh, tapi asalnya tadi mass 1 dengan mass 2 sama. Nilai dia. Kalau mass 1 10 kg, mass 2 pun 10 kg. But this time mass 1 stay 10 kg but mass 2 kita doublekan jadi 2 kali ganda iaitu 20 kg. Okay. So kita akan dapat 2M. Over D dia still sama tak ubah. Okay jadi kita boleh tulis equal to 2. 2 saya buat ke depan. GMM over D squared. Okay. And if you look at here. This is the expression. Okay. This one. Okay. This is the expression GMM over D squared. Is referring to F12. Okay, so kita substitute. So this is F12. So we can try F12 prime. Sekiranya kita doublekan salah satu mass. Okay, ha, kita akan dapati that the gravitational force. Okay, the new gravitational force is dua kali ganda. Okay, F12. Ha, kalau kita nak tulis ayat, kita macam mana? Jadi kalau kita nak tulis dalam bentuk ayat, kita boleh kata therefore new Gravitational force is increase Kan dua kali ganda Increase lah Increase by factor of 2 Okay Of the initial gravitational force Boleh? Ha, ataupun kita nak tulis ayat kita F12 prime is uh, twice F one, two. Okay, so we finish example number six. So let's proceed to the last example, example number seven. Okay, example number seven. So here we need to calculate the distance of a spacecraft above the earth surface. Okay, above the earth surface means that kita nak nilai ataupun jarak daripada permukaan bumi. Okay, if the force of earth gravity on it on it referring to uh, gravitational force on the spacecraft due to the earth all right so given that the mass of the spacecraft is 1350 kg okay dan sepatutnya awak kena tahu jugaklah the mass of the earth so the mass of the earth should be 6 times 10 power of 24 kg yang ni diberi eh and the radius of the earth also given 6.4 eh? uh, kita letak capital r Okay, capital R for the radius of the earth, 6.4 times 10 power of 6 meter. Boleh? Okay, so macam mana lukisan dia? Okay, lukisan. Okay, lukisan terindah ni. So, this is the earth. So, let's write this is the mass of the earth. Okay, and then let's say we have a spacecraft and it is located at this position. Okay, and this is the center of the earth. Alright, and then the distance of the spacecraft Okay, from the center of the earth, kita tak tahu berapa. Tapi soalan suruh kita cari nilai uh, jarak from the surface of the earth, kita letak sebagai H. And then this is the radius of the earth. Boleh eh? Okay, jadi kalau kita nak kira the gravitational force on the satellite due to the earth, which is F on the satellite due to the earth. Okay, uh, kita boleh tulislah equation kita. F S E is equal to. Okay, G, mass of the satellite 
times mass of the earth and the distance from the center okay the distance from the center of the earth to the position of the satellite square okay so r kecil ni yang mana yang saya highlightkan daripada center okay sehinggalah ke satellite ini okay this is the small r which is r e plus h boleh so sebelum saya cari h saya cari lah dulu okay small r okay small r so since we know that the value of gravitational force on the spacecraft due to the earth gravity is given 1.47 exponent 3 newton so saya akan masukkan nilai dia 1.47 exponent 3 is equal to 6.67 exponent negative 11 and the mass of the satellite is given 1350 and the mass of the earth is also given okay over r s e squared so from this equation we can find that okay the distance from the center to the uh, position of the spacecraft is equal to 1.92 times 10 power of 7 meter therefore since r is equal to r e plus h so uh, so since r equal to r e plus h so h is equal to r minus r s e minus okay the radius of the earth boleh eh? so kita boleh cari h kita kita masukkan nilai 1.92 exponent 7 meter minus 6.4 exponent 6 is equal to 1.28 exponent 7 meter okay so finish example number 7 so we finish the first subtopic from chapter 7 which is gravitational force so for the next video kita akan tengok short notes animation on gravitational field strength dan kita akan buat soalan berkaitan dengan gravitational field strength okay so semoga jumpa lagi dalam next video assalamualaikum selamat sejahtera bye bye